Hi everyone, this is the USADA Pitch, and today we're sharing some exciting news about a new feature on our Play Clean Tip Center. Bringing us that information is Jeff Cook, who leads USADA's legal and investigations team as our general counsel. Welcome to your first episode of the Pitch, Jeff. Thanks so much, Avery. It's great to be here. So Jeff, tell us about this new feature and how it works. Absolutely. So we're excited to announce that we now have the capability of receiving tips anonymously through text messages uh, sent to what I hope will be an easy to remember uh, short code, USADA. And when we receive those texts, we'll be able to communicate back and forth with the whistleblower anonymously. And that anonymity is guaranteed as it is all run through a third party. Very cool. Why did your team decide to roll out this anonymous texting option? Well, we're dedicated to making reporting of information to USADA as accessible and confidential as possible. And by allowing people to text information to USADA, we're simply meeting people where they are in terms of how they're already choosing to communicate and share information. That makes sense. Can you remind everyone about the other ways to report tips and why that's so important? Sure. Uh, Other than the anonymous texting service, the primary ways we receive tips are through our tip line. Uh, which is one eight seven seven play clean uh, we also receive tips through our email address playclean at usada.org and uh, we receive tips through a web form submission uh, that you can access directly from our website you know if you're really so inclined you can also mail a tip in to our address in colorado springs so tips we receive and and the investigations that follow are really vital to the success of an anti-doping program Uh, which in turn helps maintain a level playing field and allows clean athletes to thrive. Some of USADA's most high-profile and egregious cases of doping, such as the Armstrong investigation, have resulted directly from whistleblowers coming forward and sharing what they know with USADA. So I think there's a common concern. Uh, How can athletes and other members of the sport community really know that these systems are anonymous and secure? So with the anonymous texting platform, the personal information that the whistleblower provides or or can be identified from their phone, that's never shared with USADA because it's hosted securely by a third party that runs this same anonymized reporting service for other organizations, uh, including college and professional sports. USADA will only know the identity of the whistleblower if the whistleblower chooses to provide that information to USADA. So we hope that that will encourage many more people to come forward with the information they have, no matter how big or how small, so that we can all enjoy clean and fair sport. Awesome. Well, those are all of my questions for today. Jeff, thanks for the rundown on the new texting option. Very welcome. Thank you for having me. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. We'll see you soon for the next episode of the USADA Pitch.